What is up guys and gals? Welcome back. It's I the One Eye Crow. I'm coming back to you for another unboxing video. That's right. You guessed it. Another DC uh, gallery. Oh my god, I got lost there. Another DC gallery statue and it is another Batman. And this one's a little more exciting because it's a little nostalgic. Uh, bringing back a little bit of my childhood, my past, into the present. So, uh, today, no update, thank God. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into this unboxing video. Hope you enjoy. So today I have a uh, pretty big uh, beast of a statue here. It's not like anything, you know, super massive and expensive that you see a lot of other statue uh, collectors doing. Eventually, I'll get around to those statue guys and gals, but for now, I'm going to be sticking to these type of statues. So, uh, let's bring him into the frame. And here we go. He's, he's a pretty big boy, as you can see. He's uh, pretty large in this frame here. But it is the Michael Keaton, Tim Burton Batman. One of the best. Um, and I was really excited to pick this one up. This one you can actually pick up right now on Amazon for about 50 bucks, somewhere around there, I believe. So go check it out. If you are a fan of Batman and you want the nostalgic part of Batman in your collection, this is the statue to go for. So uh, let's go ahead and open them up and everything. And you guys get the pleasure of hearing all the opening sounds rather than me already having it open for you guys. So yeah, let's do this. I never want to do... You ever want to use a knife towards you and get away from you? So that's why I ended up backing up there a little. Right. Let's go ahead and open this beast up. side should be fine and here we have the Michael Keaton Tim Burton Batman he's so beautiful so shiny too and then the base is just some awesome looking base it's got one of the uh, statues holding up one of the globes we got some smoke some trans kind of translucent as well coming out the side here I'll get a better view of them I'm sorry you guys if you hear my dog so I was zooming back and forth in the hallway. Nice texture to the cape. I mean this 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 is a beast of a statue and it's very really 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 nice. It's gonna be sitting back here. So uh let's go ahead and change the camera's perspective. Actually let me bring them up close a little bit. And I'm gonna change the camera's perspective so that way you guys can have a better view at him and uh how he looks and all. Alright guys and gals. This is the top part of the statue. The statue is pretty massive. I couldn't really get it all into the frame um, without losing some type of quality somewhere. So we're just going to start with the top half and then we will go down to the lower half because uh, that's the best way I can do this uh, with the framework. I do not have an ultra wide uh, uh, screen or angle, whatever shot. It's just uh, I'm using a Note 9. I do all my um, recording, video recordings, and photos and everything on the Note 9. And uh, you have to work with what you got, right? And I make the best of it. So here we got the Michael Keaton Batman. Um, interesting fact, some people believe that the logo on the chest is wrong. But in reality, on the movie itself and on the movie box, this is actually how the logo is on his chest um, throughout the movie. So very interesting as to why that logo ended up having three points on the bottom and this logo ended up only having one point let's go ahead and give them a little spin around so you guys can see everything about this statue it is beautiful um you got all of the creases in that cape you got them holding one side of the cape there going around to the other side of the cape the gauntlets look absolutely beautiful so detailed you see all the artwork that's there all that sculpt work i'm sorry guys if you hear tape in the background somebody and somebody here is messing with tape 
Um, you got his gloves, all the marks in the gloves, him clinching that fist to hold his cape, and you got the insides. All right, so uh, we're gonna get a closer shot at the face so you guys can see how the face looks. All right, so here you have the cowl, got his face. I know in previous videos that I have seen before, um, people complain about his face being too shiny, but I honestly don't see that on this version of the statue. I don't know, maybe they correct it by then or not. I actually don't even know when the statue was released, but um, it's, they seem to have fixed it. I do not see too much glossiness on his face. I mean, it, I mean, it was bad. It was like seeing a clear coat of nail polish, of clear nail polish on a fingernail. That's how shiny it was, but I don't see this on the face. It looks very nice and smooth. His actual um, costume itself looks a lot more glossy than the face does. There is some matte look to the uh, cowl itself as well. Headed up top of his eyes, up to his ears. Everything's just nicely applied. All the paint applicant just looks amazing. All the creases, the sculpting was very well done. Um, I gotta find out exactly who sculpted this by the way. But uh, let's travel down to the base of this statue. Before I go on to the base of the statue, I totally forgot to show the back of the box. Got a little too excited there. It's nothing complicated. Um, it's pretty much just the sides, clear, logo on the bottom, same thing on the other side, same thing on the top. And in the back, it does have a little bit of writing on the bottom, and it does have what it, who it was designed by and sculpted by. I'm not going to read all that. Um, it was designed by Sean Knapp and sculpted by Rocco Dotamela. So. Uh, interesting name, but um, interesting scope as well. So let's go ahead and get into the base. All right, guys and gals, well, here you have the base of the statue. You can see the logo right down there on the bottom with that one point on the bottom that I was talking about. You got a nice little gold um, trimming on the bottom of the base itself. The base right here has a bit of like texture to it. Um, it doesn't feel like it, but it has a design that has like that cement gravel type texture. Then you have the statue itself with the cloak around or over it. You got some sort of translucent, I don't know the camera picks it up very well, but it's sort of translucent type smoke coming around the side and towards the back of the statue. And then you have it holding the globe, which Batman himself is balancing on. Pretty, pretty nice statue. I have to say, I don't know whether this will be my Grail or not, because the other Batman, um, done by Jim Lee, I, no, it wasn't Jim Lee, uh, which Batman was that? The other collectible Batman I have, um, that I did a unboxing of on this with the, um, stepping on, on the gargoyle, that thing is amazing looking. He had to have been my number one, followed by the, uh, the crossover with the Flash, and then Batman Who Laughs is amazing as well, but. This one definitely has to probably take the second spot. I love the statue. Um, I do plan on hopefully getting maybe a Christian Bale one and a Ben Affleck one. So we'll see on that. I have a few more Batmans that I do want to pick up. And I have a few more um, DC line statues I want to pick up. Including some of the enemies that I can unbox for you guys. Uh, there will be, from time to time, there will be a setup change that you'll be seeing in the background here. With a lot more shelves and stuff. A lot more statues. Um, well, anyways, guys and gals, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I am not going to end it with my face on cam again tonight because uh, it's not necessary. This is, you know, the last video was an unboxing update type thing. This one's just straight up another unboxing slash review. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it helps you decide whether or not you want to pick the statue up. Um, also, be on the lookout for the next YouTube video. We're going to be doing a unboxing slash review of two Infinity Warps Pops. Um, one of them is going to be the Iron Man crossover and the other one's going to be the Spider-Man crossover. So be on the lookout for that. They are amazing looking Pops. Uh, my wife picked up the Iron Man one and I saw the back and saw that they had the Spider-Man one that I really, really was interested in. And she mentioned that they had it so she had to go back into the store to get it. 
and she was able to get it thank god for that and she got the one with the best uh the best quality they had there because you know we do look through the boxes and then make sure that there's not too much going on in terms of damage or paint uh, mishaps and all that stuff so we got the best that we could get um from the store and i'm gonna go ahead and get some close-ups of them um take them out of the box to show you guys the paint apps um and just show you the where funko has been going lately because i haven't really done a funko one in a while i think the last one i did was probably sometime last year um correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that's what it is but anyways guys and gals once again this is the dc gallery uh diorama collection and it is batman michael keaton batman from the tim burton movies uh this is my childhood i know to many of you guys who are watching this stat or this statue this unboxing review uh video this is going to be something that brings you back to your childhood as well so i do hope you enjoy it and i hope it made you smile um always remember guys and gals that you are amazing don't ever let anyone make you feel like you are less no one's told you they love you lately let me be the first one to tell you i love you and you see that beautiful chair in the background there it says take me sport go check them out and use the code when i crawl all capital letters for 10 percent off they're the most comfortable amazing chairs you would ever ever get i promise you anyways i love you all and until the next video i'll catch you on the flip side oh but wait one more thing please hit that subscribe button if you like this video remember to hit that like it really helps and it shows youtube that you appreciate these videos all right, see you later.